This haunts me like you wouldn't believe. This is when I was in the Spice Girls. So undoubtedly it was a fun night with the girls, um, probably a little bit of wine um, at some point throughout the night. And this was actually, I think it was a Maria Gratch Vogel dress. It was very sheer, very sheer, um, and it was corseted. It was quite amazing, it was super, super light. Um, and I felt really good in it, and I had very, very straight hair. Addicted to the hair straighteners, super, super shiny, straight hair. And here's Baby with a bit of a frizz. emma has got a bit of a frizz, but it was, it was a good one because we were celebrating, and the Brit Awards was always a really fun thing for us to do because it was celebrating British music. I think it was relevant at the time. I think so. Maybe it was just as funny back then, I just didn't know about it and actually very cute. They were really stiff. Those trousers were very, the trousers were stiff. I, okay, the trousers were stiff, everyone. But the bizarre thing was, it was a Versace event, but we turned up wearing matchy, matching Gucci leather, which is bizarre. And I still have these. I still have these outfits. How would you wear it today? I wouldn't. This is me wearing a Roland Murray dress. The jewellery is incredible and I can't remember where the jewellery was from. I think it was probably Chopard. Um, lots of uh, lots of corsetry going on here, about two corsets there were with this dress. Um, at the time I obviously thought it was the right thing to do to wear red dress, red uh, red red shoes, red lips, quite matchy matchy. I look, this reminds me, it feels a little Mary Poppins. It's a little bit of a Mary Poppins dress, but it felt incredible. It was beautifully made, and I actually bought it in a sample sale. I went to a Roland Murray sample sale, and that's where I bought that from. I think it was the one and only time I wore platform trainers, and Vogue found it. I threw out the first pitch at the Dodgers, so this was quite an exciting thing to do. I was probably rubbish at it, as I am with most sport, um, but that's actually a great picture. Hot pants and platform trainers. It's gonna haunt me forever. And even more strange, a Dodger zip up jacket. Spice up your life. It's not the first time I've said that. And here we are at Kate Middleton's uh, wedding. I was very, very pregnant, very pregnant. So little Harper is in my tummy there. And this was a dress that I made in the studio for myself. Um, which I love, I still love this dress. It was comfortable because I was about eight months pregnant um, during this time and it was a Philip Tracy hat and some, um, and some shoes that Christian Labutin made for me. I had Spanx on and I was in the back of the car after the wedding desperately trying to get the Spanx off and I couldn't and it was quite claustrophobic and I had a bit of a panic attack trying to get out of the Spanx. Um, but that's a really cute picture, and how handsome does David look? And here I am looking very, very cold in, wait for it, a pair of trainers. It was so cold this season. I remember that the lights kept, kept turning up. We, we kept losing the power at the venue of the show. And I remember people were, were really making quite a fuss over the fact that I was wearing trainers, which is crazy. Posh Spice wears trainers. Do I have a favorite? I mean, I love this picture because I just think that we look so cute. I love this. It's always good to look back at, at funny pictures and uh, that at the time weren't funny, but are funny sort of God knows how many years on. Some might say the glamour has, has gotten less over the years. Um, and up until tonight, maybe that was true. <laughs>